I don't really know what to think about what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> it's November. <laughs> I had an extra costume. <laughs> Happy November. Happy November. Where's your pickles? You need pickles. You mean relish? Ooh. I don't think anybody just puts pickle slices on their gliz. I would. Mm. I'm that person. I typically, though eat them plain. So kind of like the the strip of mustard kind of ruins it for me. The mustard is elite. That is the ultimate glizzy topping. So your costume looks like when you got the bread from the bread aisle, mm -hmm. it must have gotten squished in the back. I get nothing but bread. <laughs> because yo, what is... I gets to the bread. <laughs> I need you to pull the shoulder out, though. Oh. <laughs> There we go. It looks like, uh, but you know what? That's actually how I like to eat my glizzies. So like when I put the bread in, it has to be the soft, like the ballpark Franks, you know, a bread. And then you just squish the the, the bun onto the glizzy so that it kind of sticks. And then you shove it down your throat. Um, no toppings. It's kind of, okay. It's not very ladylike. It doesn't have to be. You crush. I don't want to be ladylike when I eat. eat. I just want to be like able to eat Bruce like Bruce Banner. Like <laughs> and eat like the Hulk. <laughs> if I ever saw you gripping a glizzy to the point where you were just smashing it so that you could just compact it and put it into your mouth, what would you do? I'd probably just walk away. You turned on? No, hell no. Okay, no. Sounds terrible. Uh, so squeezing it. Yeah. And then putting it in my mouth is not Compacting like, a glizzy and then making it bite size and just putting a glizzy it's ball. Not bite size. <laughs> putting it into a glizzy ball. <laughs> Anyways, I'm I'm doing a I'm doing promo. This is what okay. I wore on Grizzly Tails on Halloween. You did, you did. Glizzy Tails. <laughs> um so yeah, make sure you guys make sure you guys watch that. I don't know. I don't think everybody who's watching the podcast knows about Grizzly they Tails. They don't. They definitely don't. <laughs> if you like true but, crime and you like uh, me dressed up as a glizzy. I do. Go check it out. You should pull this out like a like couple times a year, maybe. I was thinking once a month. Okay. If oh, it we was can just do 12 like, times oh, a year. Oh, it's a glizzy episode. Like, oh, he's dressed as a glizzy you again. You know, he's about to be on some bullshit. I really enjoy this costume. Like, I wore it. <laughs> like, a, like I don't even know why I bought it. It's from All Deaf back in the day. Really? Mm-hmm. It looks I comfortable. Have I have two glizzy ones. What what um, toppings did the other one have? The other one is like relish chili and, cheese oh. and ketchup and stuff. But it's like it's like not like a a full glizzy. Mm -hmm. It's like a screen printed glizzy. It's weird. Mm. It's not it's not as it's not as delicious looking. You know, you look like I'll the glizzy that you make in the microwave. Yeah, I don't look like a like a like a black barbecue glizzy. No, it's like a white. You know how it gets lighter? It's kind of lighter at the tip game. a little bit. Not like the a, the actual tip like a dodger be darker, dog. but I do like your dog. Uh -huh. a what? Do your dog? Oh, that's the LA way of saying it. That's the Dodger way of saying it. Okay, so since we talked about pickles, okay, I'm going into it. Since we talked about pickles. That hot box will turn a cucumber into a pickle. Ate that cat, now your throat got a little tickle. Wow. Your skin is a little cold, I'm going to call you brickle. That boy's sick, tongue tasting like nickel. Sounds like you have a UTI. <laughs> not me. I'm not the cat in this. You said. I said that hot box will turn a cucumber into a pickle. You ate that cat, now your throat got a little tickle. Sound like you were talking about No, I was your not cat. talking about me. So you're saying that the the girl that he's smashing has yes. a nasty box mm -hmm. that can turn your dick into a pickled dick. <laughs> it has it, It's hot. It's a brine. It's like a brine <laughs> type of thing. It sounded like that's how that's how female rappers refer to their own coochie. So you might want to edit that because it sounds what? like you got a little like your cat made him have a itch in the back of his no, throat. No, not mine. I'm just saying that's that's just how it, that's just how it goes. That is not how it goes. When I, I say I would say when rappers I would say, say like she's sucking on hot. that dick, 
they're not like, oh, I, I meant like another gentleman's dick. They meant theirs. So when you no. said you ate that cat, I assume you meant yours. No, not mine. Okay. I'm just saying. That's just what the hip-hop community is well, going to ain't nobody ever told me that my box gave him a, th- a, nobody a was throat like, tickle. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> nobody turned into Will Smith and Hitch. <laughs> the next day. <laughs> Damn stuff. What you think? Tongue tasting like nickel? <laughs> no. Mm. That was kind of so when you caught COVID, did your ta- did you ever get the one that I your- pull out the weenie and I gave her the mustard? She put an arch in that back. Had that dick her- shooting out custard. And I'm back I bustered. <laughs> bustard? <laughs> what? I said, give me the buns. Muster smacked it from the back so hard I gave it a runs. Uh, <laughs> that's nasty as fuck. Uh, I hate that it. Didn't smash so good you got diarrhea. No, but I, I have my. A- you know what? Wow. I think I've said this before. I don't maybe, think you have. If it has not. anything to do with getting the runs after sex. I, it wasn't after sex. He ate my ass so long that... You shit? I, uh-huh. I had the shit afterwards and it oh, was after. very runny. Ugh. You shit in his mouth? No. All right. Let's no, move on. No. He that just did disgusting. it so long. I would have kept that to myself. Why? All right. Let's get into these threads. Threadicals. Let's get into the threadicals. <laughs> This whole month, I'm doing my own tweets. I'm doing my own tweet today, too. Because your boy out here. <laughs> okay. I'm getting the responses. You're getting the respect you sh- you deserve, huh? I'm getting the resp- respect I deserve. How we this, both fuck up respect? <laughs> this, tweet, <laughs> this tweet got over 25,000 views. Woo! It's a lot for me. I know you'd be, yeah. you be going mega viral on Twitter. Okay. But. Do your thing. Um, What is it? I said this. This is from Pat's on your back on Twitter. What's a date that would make y'all give up the draws immediately? <laughs> and that's for women? Y'all. Because y'all, we already know that y'all give up the draws for a blue Gatorade. It's not a date. And it's a gift. That was a birthday gift. <laughs> I'm talking about where would could somebody take you where your panties or boxers are Around the ankles. As soon as you hear about the, maybe not now because it's like, okay, we have to do the date. But as soon as you hear about it, you like, it's know. going down. I don't know if I should give out this information. Well, then give a secondary. <laughs> give a secondary. What um, you got? My tweet, um, I actually had kind of saw this somewhere else, but I wanted to know what my people would say about it. And so it got 168,000 views. Damn. And it got quite a few uh, reposts and responses. So this one is, how do y'all decide who to go raw in? Mm. What are the qualifications that this young lady or lad needs to have to allow the raw meat or to say, I... So this is for dudes. It's for... Anybody. Because yeah, we can like allow decide, somebody to yeah. go in. That's crazy for y'all. It is. Because y'all the ones who get pregnant. Right. So it's wild for y'all to just eat, eat like, hey, 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 yeah. hey, hey. I want to wrap it up. <laughs> you whore. <laughs> <laughs> we right. have our moments. You went way more viral than I did. <laughs> so <laughs> I think you should go first. <laughs> Okay, well, so um, the first person it? says, oh. yeah, but the first response was, when will you and Patrick bring your uh, podcast back? I haven't seen any episodes since August. Oh, on the audio side? Uh-huh. <laughs> so Sorry, you're like going to have to look at us for now. <laughs> I said we post every week on YouTube. Haven't missed a week yet. And then we go into the actual um, lab work results. That's pretty good. Oh, after seeing that they're good? Yeah. Okay. So after the lab work. Probably the most responsible uh, response we're going to get. 
Yeah. Um, somebody said a deeply scientific algorithm, which probably means I fuck everyone raw. I think I have the nigga answer. Go Cued ahead. Up. No, no, no. Go ahead. <laughs> oh. I, think, I, I feel like we're going to hear it. <laughs> Heads or tails, to be honest. That That's probably closer to the nigga answer, but <laughs> mine's funnier. Got to pray over the pussy first. Before you eat it? Before you go in raw. Damn. Okay, uh, I have two nigga answers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's a good one. Most of the time, it's energy, understanding the person. But most of the time, I'll ask about their sex life, not being nosy, but just protecting me. Okay. Um, Slightly less, more responsible version of the lab results. but okay. Right. This guy says, wifey or girlfriend only. That's a good answer. Um... Sometimes it's just a feeling. <laughs> it's a little closer to my answer. Uh, you, bae, you choose just waiting on us to be together. Hold on. So he's saying, like, the girl gets to choose. He's all for it. He's just like, whenever you're ready, <laughs> I'm going in raw. <laughs> um, whoever's tubes are tied. My shoulders is hella high. That's, I mean, one was dipped in earlier. Does that mean I got a short sausage? I got a small sausage? Um, a Vienna? Yeah. Damn. A little pork and bean? Oh, damn. <laughs> um, I pour peroxide down there, and if it bubbles up, I strap up. <laughs> <laughs> if, it, if it fizzles... <laughs> Yeah, that, that that chemical reaction means you should leave. <laughs> That's wild. Um, oh, this guy just wanted some points with me. Uh, when they look like you, thanks. That means he would go raw on you immediately. Because <laughs> you already thanks. look like you. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I can't take that risk. So he straps it up all the time. Good for him. Yeah. He might be saying that because he already has kids, though. Right. This guy said a wing and a prayer. <laughs> mm-hmm. Two wings. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, the smell test. Oh, if it's if it smells funky, then it, that's out. The, that's out the question. Uh, say funky again. If it smells funky. <laughs> it's out the question. <laughs> if it smells like a hot dog. If it smells like hot dogs, Vienna sausage. Um, if they seem to be a clean individual. Okay, that seam is it's closer insane. to mine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I listen to the ancestors, just like when I'm seasoning my food. Listening to the ancestors. I mean, it makes sense. If we talking ancestors, ancestors, they didn't have no condoms. All right, so you shouldn't listen to them. They'd right? Like, yeah, go raw. I did. That's how you got here. <laughs> Um, most dudes probably reach for condoms like chicks reach for the bill. It's just oh, a polite wow. gesture. <laughs> That's hilarious. So they're just like fumbling with it, like, oh, oh, you got it? No, oh, no condom. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. Like, I'm just gonna rub it around. <laughs> See whip. <laughs> <laughs> the whip slip. Um and then let's see. Let's see a, a final good one. Okay. Let's see. Rock, paper, scissors. With yourself or with them? <laughs> I don't know. It just said <laughs> rock, paper, scissors. Who's uh who's representing wrapping it up? <laughs> <laughs> Probably her. He's all for it. <laughs> He's all for it. All right, here's the two nigger ones. Oh, my God. And I think I speak. I just had a conversation with uh, some comedians about this, too. I didn't know if other people did this. Thinking to yourself, yeah, I trust her. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. If there's, like, if there's, like, other things you could relate, like, oh, her house is clean, so her vagina probably clean. Or, like, she seems responsible, like, she did so-and-so or so-and-so. Like, other, we'll reach for, like, other examples. Like, she's a good mom. 
<laughs> she takes care of her kids. Good mom. I'm sure she takes care of her vagina. So oh. it might be it might be something like that. Like, oh, I trust her. Damn. And then the number two one is a little bit grosser, but it's like, I'll go raw. I already ate it. <laughs> Wow. Because sometimes I you, mean it is a mucous membrane up here. Sometimes so you, what do you mean? Like the 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 same type of like skin in the mouth uh-huh. and up in the What, so it's know? safer? No, I'm saying it's the same. Like Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like sometimes we make the decision to eat the cat a little early <laughs> and then you start thinking like, oh, I should wrap it up, but then you're like, I already I already put my mouth on it. So if it's <laughs> If if there's something there, I ate it already. I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> right. It's already in your throat. I already ate the chlamydia. Oh, my God. No. Especially never happened, but. Thank goodness. I, could, I mean, I, but that's another the thing. There's another filter. You would only eat it if it looked clean, if she seemed clean. You already did the whole I trust her thing in your head. So you eat it and then you're like, all right, I'll that's, dip my toes in. That's tough. I'll dip Mine my toes in. Mine is how long we've been smashing so it's like it's like so never a first been, time uh monday night raw i have done that <laughs> like raw out the gate um it was a lituation okay you know um but if if that happens like it's usually because it's been a while hmm. like how does the wow. decision get made? Are you like, let's go raw? Or are you like, It'd like the like, bill thing? Like, ah, like, ah, 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 don't reach for that. <laughs> it, it's like, we've been doing it for so long that it's like, okay, I need, I really need to feel you now. Like, feeling so with it, the condom is like, I mean, it's cool. Like, when you guys have, it's, it's good, but it, mm-hmm. it ain't nothing compared to skin to skin you know what's so crazy i have done it skin to skin so few times and when i say few times i mean like probably less than 20 mm-hmm. in my whole life well, well jesus less than 20 i know that's a, a high few, number but i don't want to quite high i don't want to be like i could count on one hand because i can't okay but just that's a long that's 30 plus years less than 20 times so like I know it feels better, but I I don't really like process like how much better. <laughs> you don't there's want so to. few and far between. I don't want to think that because then I'll do it more. It. Yeah, and then I'll be walking around with all types of little riblets. Riblets. Niglets. I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my goodness>. Niglets. <laughs> I'm like, you should have wore a McRib costume if you got riblets. McNigs. <laughs> McNigs. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, so I can't. Oh, it's been so long since I had a raw dog. <laughs> Why you said that like it was a like a hot dog? That's it's because been, you got the hot dog it's costume. Been a while since I've had me a good raw dog uh-huh. with mustard. All right. Speaking of raw dog, let's go into <laughs> this date. Maybe I can help some people out there. What's a date that would make y'all give up the draws immediately? Um, think of yours and then think of your second one if you don't want to give that away. Uh, we got someone saying, honestly, a good smoke session, the movies and Wingstop slash tacos. That's a great, a date. That's a, it's a great date, that seems but like it a ain't. a normal hangout though. Yeah, that ain't. It seems like something you would do with somebody you already smashing. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that's a great date too. Uh, one girl said gun range and dinner. This Don't, was your tweet, right? Yeah, this is okay. my tweet. So, I, so they're <laughs> pandering. <laughs> okay. But I mean, I feel like I've gone to the gun range with women before, and it is like that, that oh, this is exhilarating, you know. I've gone to thing. the gun range with your ass before. So It was fun. Yeah. Was there like but, every, every shot where you're like, ugh, I'm wet? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it did not make me want to drop my drawers. But I it mean, was just fun, though, in general, me. shooting guns... Is is exciting to some it's women. It's an aphrodisiac. 
I wouldn't say like it uh, equates immediately to being wet and stuff, but the fact that y'all like danger, like, oh, he drives fast. Oh, oh he shoots I'm guys. shooting a gun. Oh, I'm doing something that's slightly dangerous. I'm in a trap house while he's cook, like breaking down on a kilo of cocaine. I would say what's more titillating about that is if he knows how to like, work the gun I think that's a little more like hmm. so like it's he not, knows it's not the you doing. shooting it's not the me shooting it's like watching him if he's like hitting the target like mm-hmm. you I know he's <laughs> <laughs> well no I saved the girl um, you you. I saved the hostage yeah you you killed you, her you typically <laughs> she was you re- typically she was rest do peace. well but wait a minute what about Vegas you know what I'm saying that that big, big one, I hit a dead smack in the oh, middle yeah, yeah. of the that target. True. That's true. But that I was... wasn't getting wet. <laughs> your booty getting moist. <laughs> oh, shut um, up. No, I would just say, like, if he, like, knows how to, like... All right, I'm moving on. That, for me, is like, oh, okay, because it, it signifies, like, protection. Like I can see that. <sighs> Sunset firework and then a meteor shower. Damn, you want the nigga to be in control of the skies? <laughs> a meteor shower? That means what in the hell? Niggas getting the, uh, the draws once every four years. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a meteor shower. I, so I can't speak on this. I've never seen a meteor shower. This is a good point. She says, as long as she doesn't talk himself. Okay, he. I, I, didn't, I didn't know if she was, you know. As long as he doesn't talk himself out of it, he's going to GTD, get the draws. Yes. Niggas be niggas be talking themselves out of it uh, almost. Oh. Uh. I, I have a theory. I think I, we talked about this on the show that y'all know immediately and then the rest of the date is just seeing if they would fuck it up or not. Mm-hmm. Um, invite me over. Good food. Great personal conversation. Good wine. Lots of laughs. Good chemistry. Flirty. And be a good kisser. Pussy's that's, easier to get than we might think. That's quite a bit of things to... <laughs> To do though, this, because where y'all fuck up is great conversation. Sometimes, <laughs> like, uh, excuse me, that's where y'all fuck up a lot. It could be this whole viral sensation of like, oh no, the the girl cheesecake who factory went to the cheesecake factory. The girl who went out for oysters, like it's those type of women who are like, oh, I only go to the finest restaurants. When you finally take them, they be boring as hell. They don't got <laughs> nothing to talk about because they wrap their whole personality and how they look and where they. Should should be seen. Mm. That's their whole personality. And then when they're there, Is they it? just text it on the phone. Boring. I, Big boring. Mm. I don't know. Oh, I don't God. go out with them hoes. Hey, some of these niggas been hurt. Uh, her holding my hand and telling me she's proud of me. Oh, uh, he needs like, he needs like mommy stuff. Ooh, that's kind of weird before sex. Her holding my hand and telling me she's proud of me. That just shows how, how, how much... Niggas out here, we just want a little, you know, you guys little verbal do. validation. You guys do. You, what about you this guys nigga? need to be mommy's little princess. Okay. <laughs> Visiting a big cat rescue, playing Ooh. with the cubs. I'm giving up the Eckrich expeditiously. I've never heard of that Eckrich. Oh, playing with the cubs. You know, lion cubs are my favorite. Going to a big cat rescue for a date is actually kind of fire. Cool. That's a fire date. Oh, my God. If she set up a picnic and bring her own cooked food, we ain't even got to wait to get back home. All right, nigga. So you're saying you cook, we bring it to a park, and then we have sex in public? This nigga's a menace. (laughs) Yeah, bum. (laughs) I like this one. All day, well, maybe not the all day. All day nature hike, forest exploring, with a swim break somewhere in there, and a little micro dose at dusk. Okay. I would flip that to the microdose at dawn. Uh, no, right. You in the <laughs> middle of the forest on shrooms. If we no. make it to the mushrooms without any hesitation, I'm going to probably be wide open after all that magic shit. See, she got it wrong. If you do the mushrooms first, then you get to enjoy the nature, then the swim, and then the smashing is when you're at the peak of the mushrooms. Mm. You sound like this is your type of date where you drop in the draws. This is your date. <laughs> Did you write that? <laughs> no, but uh, I would, I would, I would, I would like that. As long as there's a shower after that nature hike, <laughs> you gotta just get back in the lake. <laughs> don't, want them, don't want them smelling like tree stump down there. Uh, <laughs> Should smell like pond water. <laughs> <All right. laughs> in a Tonka. Uh. All right, so this one is actually kind of crazy. She said, first night, clutches pearls, 
Just kidding. McLeod Falls hike, specific place too, with scavenger hunt game on the trail with bonus two, three truths and five dares, a dip where swimming is allowed, deep inhales of the finest ganja at sunset, dinner wherever, ending the night in hot oil massages. That's very specific. It's about to say, and I think this date got. Is that her way of saying I've never, I'd never do it? <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of asks, <laughs> right? Um, but it's also kind of I've never done a scavenger hunt on a on a hike. I don't want to do a scavenger hunt. Why on not? A hike. Because I just feel like if I'm on a hike. I'm really focusing on like nature and just exactly. being Scavenge. there. But if I'm trying to find like the envelope or you the know envelope. the no, the scavenger or the thing, we're not, we're not going to like ahead of time to hide things. It'd be like find a, a piece of bark that's this you know look out for a a, a thing. Oh, all thing. the scavenger hunts that I've done have been shit that's hidden somewhere that you have to find. So I thought she was saying but not like, this, you never did like going, a city scavenger hunt where they're like find a license plate with this these numbers. No, I haven't. Find a a cup. A cup? You know, just stuff that would be out there yeah. specifically, you know. I haven't. I haven't I haven't done that. Maybe someone has to introduce me to that to uh make you give up the draws. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to think of my 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 the date that would make me uh throw the boxer briefs off. I over thought my... you was about to say throw the box. I'm like <laughs> throw the yeah, the boy why, box. Why not? <laughs> throw the boy I like that. Boy box. <laughs> What's giving up the boy box? Mm-hmm. Man. Giving up the buns. Huh? Giving up the buns. I don't like that. That sounds like I'm... You're a hot dog! Yeah, but it sounds like I'm giving it up the back door. Giving up the buns. <laughs> I like the boy box. <laughs> giving up the meat. Giving, giving up, up the dog. Giving up the meat. <laughs> the gliz. <laughs> giving up the glizzy. <laughs> um, What's a good date for me? Let's see if I've ever done this for somebody before. I'll tell you what. This is kind of it's kind of nerdy, but I think it's fun. Uh, it's a minute ago, she like challenged me to like an old school gaming tournament, and I could tell she wanted the draws because she scheduled it at my spot. Well, I also <laughs> had the video games too, so we have Mario Kart and. All that stuff, and then Super Smash. <laughs> but we didn't play the game. Hey, <laughs> wait. Okay, so tell me more. What games did you guys play? Like it was like said, it was like girl games. Like she wasn't like a hardcore gamer, but it was like you know like Mario Kart, Super mm-hmm. Mario sixty four, uh, the little mini games, and Mario Party okay. stuff like that. Um, but it was like an actual tournament with like snacks postmates drinks oh nice it was it was very very chill that sounds fun but it's it was unique you know okay um but in terms of going somewhere i like uh i like competitive stuff i feel like that's like a good date dynamic because i used to be the dude in high school that took people like to the movies and stuff Mm -hmm. it's like the worst date idea ever so like bowling or like mm-hmm. sh- new stuff like top golf that kind mm-hmm. of stuff is like you get to like play each other mm-hmm. you know, but and it's not just drinks like all right say something you know right something like that is always that's why uh, i like active dates mm-hmm. um i think for me when i'm surprised with something unique i mm-hmm. love to be surprised mm-hmm. like surprises are kind of my favorite thing <laughs> kind of my favorite <laughs> kind of my favorite thing so if i get surprised with something that's pretty dope mm-hmm. i'm like hmm. so even if it was something dope that you knew about that surprise element is extra it's get e- draws yes, gtd ex- as those, yeah. she said and I'm so active and I do so many things that this surprise, in order for to get me like, mm-hmm. has to be more unique than just like 
you know, surprise bowling, you what know, if, or a surprise. What like, if a nigga took you to the park and was like, we're going to do like a little, you're going to get like a little dinner with a, with a show. Right. Mm -hmm. And that, that was like, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. He takes you to the park and you're like, oh, snap. Is this like a park performance? Is this a movies at the park? He gives you a sandwich and then changes into a mime outfit, right? Mm -hmm. And then he's in there. He, he And he's actually like a really good mime, though. Mm -hmm. But that ended up being the dinner in the show. Like he gave like a fire-ass mime performance mm -hmm. and you ate like a sandwich with some chips. Lace? How's that for a surprise? Plain lace? Uh, sure. Uh, baked turkey with... Are you Are you asking about the sandwich? I'm asking about the sandwich now. Um... It was, a, it was a good little turkey sandwich. He gave you the little condiments on the side. Okay. Um, and but you didn't know he was a mime. You were just like, "Oh, black and white striped shirt today." Huh? <laughs> but he went to the bathroom real quick. Came back in full white face. I don't know if that's what they call it. Mime face. Mime. Uh -huh. And the stuff was pretty. The, the box was believable. Was the 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 rope was believable. Don't, don't. You know what I'm saying? You giving up the draws to a mime? That's unique. That's insanely unique. Um, no, <laughs> it's not. It's not immediate. No, that's not an immediate. You give it the mom a second right date. Uh, no. What if he was like? Um. <laughs> <laughs> that is unique and fun. <laughs> <laughs> is it? It's funny. I would enjoy the show. <laughs> Definitely. It was um, a pu public park, by the way. Everybody I was like, I don't know how long I would want that to go on. It was an hour. Oh, with no. With a 10-minute intermission. No, 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 no. An hour for miming is no. Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. Like, I mean, right, I there's 45 minutes left. <laughs> is he juggling? <laughs> like, is he hula hooping? Like, he got to do He's some, a mime. He's just... How long can you go like this? Hey. No. No, I'm thinking more so. They have all these little, like, interactive, like, museums and shit on Instagram. Do you see those? Like, mm -hmm. King Tut exhibits, you know, like, oh, yeah. if if they listened to me and... um. And they knew, like, oh, she wants to do this, but they never, like, mentioned it. And then, boom, mm -hmm. that's what we're that's doing. That's what we're doing. And uh -huh. I'm telling, like, oh, I've always wanted to do this. You know, so when they surprise me with that, it's like, ah. Would you go is... to a walk-around interactive museum if you had diarrhea that day? If I had diarrhea that day? Like, he surprised like you Like, I got it. it out already? No, 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 no. And no. It's, it was might like, come again? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's happening that day, but you got surprised with... A museum that you have to walk around. I better hope it don't gleek when I uh, su get surprised. Gleek? <laughs> <laughs> we moving on. Um, uh, yes, I would. I would go if if I would go, you but just bubble I would, around the spot. I would release in the proper okay. That wasn't a place. Fun. Not a great answer. All right. Oh, I was we going to, to just the... say, no, I'm not going. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to the museum. All right. Let's get into these thick ass facts because my fact is thick. <laughs> my fact is fire. My fact is like, for real, it's like, it's, it's letting you know a term that you've used. It's letting you know the backstory. Okay. I'll go first because I know everybody hates these creatures. So it's very funny. Centipedes. It's very people hate centipedes? Well, they can fuck you up. Remember a centipede was walking by my foot? No, no, no. They're dinner? definitely poisonous. I just don't know if they have like group hate. No. Like uh spiders do, you know. They should. Well, as someone who hates fruit flies, Ugh. this is an amazing fact. Okay. So the fact is this male fruit flies seek out alcohol when rejected for intercourse. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
Now I get I get Ooh. fruit flies a lot, usually by damn the, either the fruit that I leave out. So your flies is just getting rejected all over. The That's place. what I'm saying. The only times I see fruit flies is when I have like some bananas. fruit that's out, bananas or lemons, mm-hmm. and then also like when I leave like a shot glass or or like a like a whiskey glass out, uh. and they're always. I always wondered that, like, are they attracted to alcohol? What's going on? Sometimes you see, like, a little fruit fly in the alcohol. Mm-hmm. He Them, said, they didn't get no pussy. He said, fuck it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going all in. Like, Somebody was I'm, just like, uh, one of the, the lady uh, fruit flies was like, no, I'm not going to smash you. He was just like, I'm about to drown my sorrows in whiskey. did it in front of his homeboys, too. Like, Got rejected? He got rejected in front of the homies. He was homies. like, hey, watch me bag her. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, like oh stop Ugh. we're going to get some fruit he's like I'm getting some liquor <laughs> so that's You're just like, hey, going to make fellas, me I'll be back <laughs> that's going to make me feel so good the next time I get mad about these damn fruit flies I'm going to be like ha ha y'all ain't getting none damn that's mean I ain't no pussy that's mean as hell it says a male fruit fly will try to court a female by nuzzling her genitals Wow. I gotta try that. Tapping. No! Nuzzling her genitals, tapping her abdomen, and singing with his wings. Okay, come on with the serenade. If all that fails, he drowns his sorrows in booze. I can't believe that all of them know how to sing. So if you don't got the like, if you don't got the right like slits on your, uh, or right whiskers and don't know how to play your, your little shit. You what, ain't crickets? getting no pussy. I don't know what it is for fruit flies. How they serenade. it says with their wings, okay. singing with their wings. So the wings don't don't wings have like little stuff on them too? Oh, you were saying your arms is wings. Yeah. Oh, because they have arms too. You fruit know they... flies have arms. Yeah. Okay. I don't really know the genetic makeup of a fruit fly. They just They're look like so flies. small. They got the little things, and then the, the, the wings. They're so tiny. <laughs> It that. says, it, it's so weird because I don't know why researchers even study stuff like this, but the, some studies said that male fruit flies uh, are more likely to cho- uh, choose to eat alcoholic food if they have been sexually rejected by females. Mm. Um, and so do humans. Males. <laughs> <laughs> if they have low levels of NPF, which is um, a signaling chemical, Mm-hmm. Um, they they have low levels of that if they're denied sex, and this apparently drives them to seek rewards for alcohol. Mm. Uh, if given NPF artificially, however, even a sex-starved male fly will turn away from the drink. Wow. I, I don't know. I don't know why anybody would even spend money to figure that out, but there you go. They got tired of seeing them hovered around the alcohol cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> Weak ass fruit flies. Wow. Okay, so mine is about slavery. Oh, okay. Escaping slaves used to throw balls of fried cornmeal out to distract the hounds from tracking them. The hounds stopped barking and tracking. Oh, the hounds stopped barking and tracking thanks to the cornmeal, which later adapted the name Hush Puppies. (gasps) Shut the fuck up. That's not true. (laughs) That's not true. Oh my God. <laughs> Hang on. Because I was already sold. That first half of that fact was like cornbread grenades. That's <laughs> the blackest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> cornbread. <laughs> but the fact that it's called, that's why it's called Hush, Hush puppies. puppies. Wow. Okay, so there's a white version. Okay, what's the white Confederate version? Confederate soldiers were preparing food around the campfire, and when they heard Union soldiers, they pitched their yelping dogs, uh, excuse me, they pitched their yelping dogs some fried cornmeal cakes and ordered them to hush puppies. I like the slave one way better. <laughs> I could see them, I could see them hearing that and being like, let's let's make these white people, let's make these white soldiers. Right, they, look, black people were really, really, really creative when it came to escape tech techniques. So I can definitely see black people frying up some cornmeal and throwing it just like we braided maps into our hair wild for, you know, escape routes. And so, that's why they were called cornrows cuz you had to run through the corn. I don't think that's true. <laughs> that is cool as hell. You love that one? That was tight. Cornbread grenades. Mm. Hush, puppy. Shushing the dog. That's great. 
How about an old mammy? Ooh, I don't like that. But there's also there's also multiple different. Right. I think that one was the most fun. Um, but I mean, there's a whole bunch. The tie when it comes to, to hush like, puppies. I was not seeing that coming. <laughs> but there are some with like hunters who just used it to mm-hmm. silence their dogs when they're hunting. So cornmeal you know, out so, here in the dog community. Yeah, that's just so, shutting them up left and right. Mm-hmm, you got your Civil War one. They got this. It's like a whole bunch. There's, there's a whole bunch of of stuff about it, but. That one to me is my I favorite. Mean, shit. If 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 you a slave being hunted by dogs, I think it's it's more urgent than hush. So okay. shut the fuck up, puppies. Right, right. <laughs> Launch that bitch too. Don't find the me. Only puppies. Thing, the only thing is I can see if the smell of like cornmeal on like the slave's body mm-hmm. might I wonder if it's a little stronger. <laughs> They're like, hey, he w- <laughs> they would have gotten away with it if they didn't give us a trail of cornmeal. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason they keep like, throwing ho- cornbread and uh, our dogs are following that. <laughs> it's just completely backfired. They're fucking covered in fucking oh, flour. Oh man. Cornmeal. That was my favorite thick fact moment <laughs> in a while. Good job. Good stuff. All right. Thank you. This has been another episode of Thick Facts, Glizzy Facts. Thick Facts. Glizzy thick. Glizzy Threads. <laughs> thick Thick Glizzy Threads. Yeah. Wow. It's a glizzy episode. I'm bringing the hot dog back every now and then. Oh, my God. There's going to be a Christmas glizzy, well, New Year's glizzy, Valentine's Day glizzy, St. Patty's Day you glizzy. You can't wear the same thing every... You got to get some I'm different a, I'm glizzy like costumes. A, no, no, no. I'm going to do slight alterations. Okay. So it'll be like when I come back as a glizzy um, for Christmas, it'll be like a Christmas glizzy. It's making me hungry. I'm making you... Because I'm looking like a snack out here. Mm-hmm. looking like <sighs> a... Excuse me. And it's gone. Just like that. (laughs) All right, guys. I've been Patrick Cloud. And I'm Persephone. We'll see you later. Bye.